Major cities across the country are looking more like ghost towns. We're so used to seeing LA's famous bumper to bumper traffic, but take a look at this LA freeway during rush hour yesterday. Virtually empty compared to what it's usually like in New York's Grand Central Terminal. Normally the busy gateway to the city is almost empty during this new era. Here is what we know right now. The mayor here in New York City is warning that a shelter in place order could take hold in the next day or two. Businesses across the country forced to shut their doors, already leading to absolutely stunning increases on unemployment claims. Seven times last week's rate in Ohio, so many came to New Jersey that the system crashed. The White House and Congress are working on a massive stimulus package to address this, likely more than a trillion dollars with direct payments to Americans. And the virus now in all 50 states. There are now more than 6,400 cases in the U.S. That number is going to skyrocket as more tests take place. So far, 108 deaths. We're going to talk live to an emergency room doctor in Seattle in just a moment. But we're going to begin our coverage. Whit Johnson is outside here in Times Square for us. Good morning, Whit. Robin, good morning to you. The mayor says he expects to see thousands of new cases by next week, and it could be up to 10,000 not long after that. But you can already see the impact here in Times Square, eerily empty, and now the possibility of even more painful restrictions. Overnight, the mayor of the nation's largest city doubling down, warning New Yorkers of a possible order to shelter in place. This is moving very fast. We should all be very concerned about how we find a way to slow down the trajectory of this virus. The idea of shelter in place has to be considered now. Details of what that could mean for the city's nearly 9 million residents still unclear. The Port Authority, which operates the city's mass transit, telling ABC News the airports are open and will continue to be. Governor Cuomo now trying to dispel fears. There is not going to be any quarantine. No one is going to lock you in your home. That's not going to happen. The San Francisco Bay Area already taking similar drastic steps to slow the pandemic, completing another night under its shelter-in-place order. Shops locked up, normally bustling streets now oddly quiet. Nearly 7 million people told to stay home for at least three weeks. It's a little freaky and scary. It feels like nobody can help each other. I think people are genuinely scared. And California's governor now warning parents it could be months before kids are back in school. It's unlikely that many of these schools, uh, few if any, uh, will open uh, before the summer break. Parents already trying to adjust to the new normal. We've been uh, basically alternating primary caregiver with this little one during the day. A lot of families are really in a difficult spot right now. At least 22 states activating the National Guard. The Navy preparing to send two hospital ships to both coasts to handle overflow. Each ship can treat up to 1,000 patients. This as President Trump is urging Thank people you. to stay inside and limit contact. We're asking everyone to work at home if possible, postpone unnecessary travel and limit social gatherings to no more than 10 people. By making shared sacrifices and temporary changes, we can protect the health of our people and we can protect our economy because I think our economy will come back very rapidly. Gloves, gowns, face shields, goggles. And we're hearing of new dramatic measures medical professionals are taking so they don't put patients or their own families at risk. I have my own little kitchen. Dr. Joseph Jones, an emergency medicine physician, says he's self-isolating from his own family, moving into his basement apartment. I got called to the front lines of, of a war. And just as the troops had to be away from their families, I'm going to be down here uh, while I fight this COVID-19. As health officials attempt to slow the spread, another blow to the NBA. See left. The Brooklyn Nets reporting that four of their players have tested positive for COVID-19, but only one is showing symptoms. Chance for Kevin Durant. Megastar Kevin Durant traded over the summer from the Warriors to the Nets, revealing he's one of those players, telling ABC News he's fine and writing, everyone be careful, take care of yourself and quarantine. We're going to get through this. Back here in New York City, the mayor says any shelter in place order would have to be done in partnership with the state. But he's mostly worried about food for millions of people in this city. He says that they'd have to set up some type of mass feeding operation. We do expect a decision within the next 48 hours and we're already partway there. George. We are in a brand new world right now. Okay, Whit, thanks very much. Well, hey.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.